So in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a vertical line using a formula. Okay, so first of all, we need an origin. And that's going to be 0, 0, right there. That's very important. If we're using a grid system like this, we need to have some point of reference, a point that we know is going to be 0, 0. Okay, then we, we look at this vertical line and we know that it has several points. And we do it exactly on the blue lines so that we can use a number line. So here we have the x axis and over here we have the y axis. And each point has its own coordinates. So this point right here is going to be, let's see, one, two, three. So this is four. So we're going to go four, zero. And then this point over here, right, is going to be four, one. And this one's going to be four, two. This is going to be four, three. This is going to be four, four. And this one seems to be four, five, right? So four, five, how, did that, how does that work? So this one's going to be X, this one's Y, right? And so it's going to be one, two, three, four, and then five. One, two, three, four, five on the Y. Okay. So that's looking good. Now let's write a table. We have X and we have Y. Okay. And let's put in our uh, points in this table. So we have four, zero, four, one, four, two, four, three, four, four, and four, five. Okay. So if you think about it, it seems like for this line, it seems like X is always four, right? Note that this right here, all they're all fours. So what's a Y? Well, Y can be anything, right? It can be zero, one, two, three, four, five. It keeps on going. It can also be, you know, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. But for this case, for this case, we are interested in only these numbers for y. So really, y should just be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, so the formula that you're going to use is going to be x is equal to what four and it's going to be restricted right curly brackets it's going to restrict it from zero to four close brackets then what variable are you going to restrict y so this is the smallest number this is the largest number and then you have symbols less than symbols. And so there it is. There's the formula. It says y is equal to 4 and it's restricted, right? It's bound from 0 to 4. Okay, let's do another one. Let's go over here and try another one. Again, this one's x, this one's y, right? This is my zero, zero point. 
And then we got negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. And so I have a point here, 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 here. Now, of course, an equation of the line, of a vertical line, you have a ton of points. I mean, infinitely many. But for this example, I just want to demonstrate where the limits of this vertical line is. So over here on the y-axis, we got negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6 as well. OK, so we can make a table, x and y, right? And this point over here, right, this point is going to be, what, negative 6, 0, right? Let's erase that right here. And this point over here is going to be negative 6, negative 1. Over here it's going to be negative 6, negative 2. Over here it's going to be negative 6, negative 3, right? Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6 for x. And negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 for y. And then negative 6, negative 4, negative 6, negative 5, negative 6, negative 6. Cool. So x is going to be negative 6, 0. And then y is going to be 0. Then negative 6, negative 1, negative 6, negative 2, negative 6, negative 3, negative 6, negative 4, negative 6, negative 5, negative 6, negative 6. And you can see that now, you can see that all x values are going to be 6. What does that tell you? Well, that means that x is always going to be 6, right? And then what else? Well, these numbers here, right, tell me how far or what the limits are, right? How, where does it start and where does it go? It starts at 0 for y, right? And then it ends up at what? y is equal to negative 6. So it's restricted, right, from what? From 0 to negative 6? Is that right? Is that is this number smaller than that one? No. Can I write it that way? Right? You got to write the small number first, which would be negative 6. And then the larger number, 0. Here we go. What letter is it? Y. And then we're going this way, small. So negative 6 is smaller than 0, and negative 6 is smaller than y. Okay, so don't forget, put the small number and the large number. And how do we know 0 is large? It's over here. And negative 6 is over here. Going that way is larger. Okay. So you can put this formula in, and you get that. So it seems like vertical lines, right, wherever you want to put a vertical line, right, wherever you want to put a vertical, vertical line, it's going to be x equals to some value. Let's try something else. So let's say you had uh, x is equal to 4, and it's restricted by negative 1 less than y, less than 4, or something like x is equal to negative 3, where y is restricted at something like 4 is less than y and less than 6. Let's say we had something like that. Okay, no problem. So we have our, um, we have our axes, right? 
and let's see, let's see if we can draw it. So the first one says x is equal to four. Okay, this one's x, this one's this one's y. And where is four? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Here it is, four. And it says it goes from negative one, which is over here. This is negative two, and this is one, two, three, four. It goes from negative one, and I'm gonna erase this four here. It goes from negative one to four, which is over here. And that's our line. The next one says what? X is equal to negative three. Okay, let's see. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Why am I writing it this way? Because it's on the x axis. And it says it goes from four to six. Hmm, okay. Goes from four to six. So here's negative three. And I'm gonna go from here, from four to negative six. And so that's the line. Pretty neat. So hopefully you are comfortable now drawing a vertical line. And that's how we start. And then you can start doing uh, horizontal lines or lines that are diagonal. One step at a time and then you'll be able to get it.